Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I wanted to do kind of an Amazon find some favorites but instead of just doing random things I got, I wanted to go through the top and worst purchases of the month. So like favorites and fails and I'm gonna do it in no particular order. These are some things that I've been using a ton this month and then some things that I kind of regret buying or didn't work out for me or that I returned. A link, the cutest little cardigan below. Like these flowers are just giving me all the spring feels and everything that I mentioned from Amazon will also be there along with my Amazon storefront. I do have a new Instagram so if you used to follow me or you want to follow me now, I will leave it right here just philosophy white tea as in youtube i really hope y'all do because i'm still pretty upset about losing all of y'all <laughs> over there follow me on there let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and let's get into it you could probably tell so i'm not gonna pretend like i have like incredible makeup on right now you could probably tell i'm barely wearing anything but i cannot be bothered lately to do a full face of makeup unless like i have something to do not even to film so today i'm only wearing this lip product and obviously my fake lashes that I will talk about. This is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. Holy crap, what a mouthful of words, but I got this because of TikTok. I saw this lady, I think she was in her 50s and she was showing her dark circles and she's like, you know, sometimes I need a little bit less than concealer because I don't want to do a full face, which is relatable. So it's like this roller and it's tinted. It's not concealer. It almost feels like a lotion, but it completely cancels out my dark circles enough so I could look presentable and awake. It was $11, so cheaper than most of my concealers, and I've been using it nonstop. I don't even have concealer on right now, and I feel like it really does give me like a brighter, more awake look. Five seconds probably to do. I just tap it in with my fingers. This has been a game changer if you're busy, if you don't like doing your makeup, but you still want a little something under your eyes for school or work in the morning. So I think this would be incredible. I'm so excited for this. I posted it on my new Instagram story. <laughs> I got this cover up because of TikTok. I saw it, immediately purchased it for Puerto Rico. It was $40 and at the time I was like, dang, this is really a lot. I okay, put it into perspective. Show you, show me your Moomoo has a knit cardigan for $200. So I was like, whatever, I'm getting it. Wore it nonstop, even though I brought three or four cover ups. I also borrowed one the whole time, but anyway, I only 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 wore this one which is sad because i have no pictures wearing it but that's not the point i loved it so so much that i got home and i got two more colors and now it's only 23 bucks because it's extremely discounted if you need like a super fun cover up for the summer that doubles as a dress i would so wear this with like a nude slip 23 bucks look at the colors on this like i am obsessed obviously this is my favorite because it's pink and very me but all of these are so darn cute. I wear a size small. It hits me perfectly, like not too short, not too long. Knit is so in right now and I just love it so much. So I had to share now before. First, it goes up in price and two, it sells out because so many sizes were already kind of like selling out. So if you need a cover up or you think you will or you're going on a fun vacation, first of all, I'm jealous get it trust me you will not regret it you might be thinking philo what's up with your lashes they look kind of weird <laughs> they really do i got a lash extensions kit and these are an individual lash extensions like you would get at a salon or anything like that these are clusters that you add like underneath your lashes so this is only my second time doing them and i have like so many feelings i feel like i need a little bit more practice and a little bit more times trying them out to let y'all know we all takes like five minutes which probably shouldn't like i should probably take more time to like make them perfect but they last so long i had to like physically remove them with oil so everything would come out this pack that will last me probably a long time plus a glue is only $17 it comes with four different sizes from 10 to 16 millimeter um, lashes it's just so much cheaper so much better I like the fact that I'm in control if I want to remove them I like the fact that I have options when it comes to the length but also like so much better than falsies because I can keep this on for like a week or less or more if I want to and I could take them on a trip and just I don't have to reapply them them i've worked out in them i 
I'm obsessed. Honestly, it makes my life so much easier and I love the fact that I'm not spending 70 to 90 dollars like twice a month for lash extensions. This is a win in my book. I will update y'all soon and maybe even do like a little, not tutorial, but like show y'all how I've been applying them. I'm sure that would be really interesting to look at, but <laughs> I really want to show y'all because even like my friends, I've been texting them like, oh my god, y'all need to get this. I'm actually so sad about this fail and this update because I raved about these since I got them back in October during Prime Day. Sadly, these are not travel friendly for me. I went on two back-to-back -back trips last, well, this month, and this part right here, I don't know if y'all can see, like that little thing that goes right in between like your ear right here, y'all, it is so painful after a while and I hate it because I love the noise canceling feature on these. It was so nice not to hear crying babies and people talking and you know things going on in the plane. Even that little noise, like the rattling noise that the plane makes, I couldn't even hear it. So it was very easy to fall asleep except for the fact that my ears were throbbing with pain because it was like really up there so i think i need to get like some overhead canceling like noise canceling headphones for travel and then just save these for like my everyday life they are good headphones unfortunately they're just like a little too painful after like a few hours okay i'm using this as an excuse to show you all footage of olivia at the little gym for the first time her favorite thing was a little ledge that she could balance on she's always stepping on stuff and like wanting to kind of like find her balance so I decided to finally order these from Amazon and these are kind of falling in my fail category She's not really loving them. I can't tell if she's maybe a little too young She's officially 18 months now and I don't know especially the taller one. It's this one. She gets a little scared I got the six pack and the only reason why I bought it is because it was on sale Six of these usually retail for about $69 plus tax and all that. I got them for $49, so that's the only way I could justify it. And even then, I do think these are a little pricey, especially because she doesn't seem to be loving them. It comes with three different sizes, and the nice thing, I guess, is that they all stack together. They do have different color combinations, but you already know I had to pick up the pink. I just don't know if this is something she'll actually use, and if not, I guess I could always sell it or donate it, but for the prize i was expecting her to love it a little more so we'll see i'll definitely keep you guys updated okay i'm issuing a small trigger warning if you get easily grossed out by bodily fluids just skip a few seconds when i tell you i cannot rave about this enough this is probably like top five must-have mom products so much so that like ours like randomly died and stopped working because i think liquid got in it and i reordered it i get it for every baby shower i go to it's just incredible and i know people love the frida baby one but like why would you willingly suck snot out of your child's nose instead of just using an electric one i would turn it on actually i might okay ready this is why i said it was gross um, Olivia had a lot of congestion recently. Look at all the disgustingness inside of this. This is just like probably two days worth because I cleaned it beforehand and I will clean it. This whole thing comes apart so you can really get in there and clean it. Ew. Oh, it's so disgusting. You don't even need a close up. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this. It's incredible. It has like a little, I'll turn it on. That's a suction. Then it has like light to distract them. And Olivia's favorite thing, which is that song, but she's napping, so I won't turn it on. And then alongside, this kind of like goes together. This Frida Baby Nose Frida Saline Mist Spray is amazing. I used to have the little drops, and I do find that with a toddler who refuses to put this up her nose, this is 10 times easier, and it really gets in there, and you're able to suck more out, especially when they're congested or sick. This is incredible. Like, I highly, highly recommend that you can even get out Target, but this is really the star of the show. Okay, this is a two parter of fails okay i used to do dip powder nails all the time back in 2020 when i had a lot of time on my hands you know i had no baby i could just spend three hours doing my nails recently um, my nails have been a little longer so for the past two years i've been pretty short and i've just been doing my regular glue on fake nails i decided to try doing um dip powder again and this is what i had for the extensions and y'all i 
freaking hate it i think the sizes are so awkward sorry i don't really know why i'm so red right now i think i'm a little hot i digress the sizes are so awkward most of them are so big if you have tiny nail beds do not get this like this is probably like the worst out of all the ones i've tried from amazon the packaging sucks this morning when i went to grab it to show it to y'all everything fell out so you can tell how fun that was and then the way they're arranged sucks because it goes from like the pinky fingers over here the like index fingers over here and then like the thumbs are over here i i hate it i literally hate it i don't know how much this was but i couldn't recommend it less so back to a dip I don't know why I talk so much. Like I said, I started doing dip again, which is why I needed those extensions. And I'm so embarrassed to show you all my nails. I did this last night. I guess they don't look like terrible. I got this dip powder kit from Beatles of Amazon. It was like less than 40 bucks and it came with a ton of different colors. My issue is number one, the base is too sticky, which you would think it's a good thing, but it doesn't dry, dry quick enough. So everything just starts clumping up, which is just not ideal. And then when you go to brush it away, I don't know if y'all can see, like it darkens. It's so odd. And then the colors are not opaque enough where like this is four coats and i feel like you can still see some of like the translucent and like i'm not good at doing nails i'm not blaming the the kit but i just feel like the quality is just not there which is weird because i think beetles is a pretty good nail brand but maybe I, I need more practice maybe it's this color i don't know i will keep you guys updated i have a bone to pick with ollie because i tried the recovery sleep gummies they're just like melatonin gummies with some sort of like thing for your muscles if you're working out and i really like them i didn't think they were too strong they work really well they didn't make me groggy or racy dreams or anything like that this is the worst like this is just like the regular sleep gummies i've been having the most insane dreams thanks to this i can't fall asleep right away i wake up like i didn't sleep a single minute i despise these okay there has been a product by amika like a hair tool going viral on tiktok it's like 90 bucks so i thought i would find an alternative so i bought this from conair which i love their wands and their curling irons i think they're really good for the price this was 11 dollars. but y'all this did not do it for me the bristles are too hard and no matter what break my hair or get tangled up it doesn't have enough like heating um so the only thing that heats up are these little silver strips can y'all see that and like the actual bristles don't really get enough heat so they don't do much it's also too thin it's just like not a good product for me or my hair so i'm gonna return this i do kind of want to try the amiga one even though the last thing i need is more hair tools just because it looks cool okay another fail and this one i actually had to return already are these storage bags i bought some from a brand like gorilla grip or something and they're incredible like the quality is amazing but then to save some money i was like hey like maybe i should just buy these they're like on a flash seal immediately opened them the fabric felt like so thin and like it was gonna break at any point which is exactly what happened i started stuffing it with linens not even two seconds later it's like it started breaking at the seam so sometimes saving money is not even worth it and then in my latest amazon video i did kind of like an unboxing haul i bought like a travel engagement ring to wear instead of my real one i did wear it to puerto rico i actually did like it but the whole reason why i want it is to wear to work out or to the beach or to a pool i was there for like five days and i was at the beach for three of those days and the gold already started fading the gold was already pretty yellow to begin with so that was already throwing me off i mean let's be realistic it was a 20 dollar ring but i just like didn't love it i need to like look a little bit more and like find a better one but that one is just like a pass for me i didn't really like how little it lasted <sighs> i know i already talked about my kindle i cannot like physically mentally i cannot believe i'm one of these people like not even two months ago think like oh my god people are crazy like there's no way they're reading that much there's like no way reading is fun there's no way a kindle is worth it i would say that like with a big smile on my face 
it's the only thing I want to do now. I am 11 books in, maybe 12. I finished one last night, so I need to check my Goodreads. Someone on Instagram before it got deactivated asked me what my Goodreads is, so I'll leave it down below. I am a converted person. I am obsessed. Like, I have no words, y'all. This is probably the best money I've ever spent on Amazon, which is saying a whole lot. If you know me and my channel, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with reading. I'm obsessed with, like putting Olivia to bed and go into my room after showering and doing everything I had to do to read a book. It's become my favorite thing and reading on vacation was actually life-changing. I didn't read like while we were in Puerto Rico because it wasn't that kind of vacation, but I read um, on the plane way there and back. Obsessed, obsessed, it has changed my life. So this is your sign if you are stubborn like me and you were debating it. If you've never liked reading in your life, I've never liked reading until now. Give it a chance, give it a chance, get a Kindle. And most of the books that I've been reading are on Kindle Unlimited because I read kind of fast. So I think it's been pretty worth it, honestly, like 11 books and I haven't paid. I only paid for like two. I highly recommend, I will leave it down below. Go get you one. And someone did tell me like, if you don't want to spend the money on a kindle if you have an ipad um you could totally read your books there so just start reading please i promise it's worth it so guys that's everything for today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up let me know how y'all feel about this format of finds and favorites like fails and favorites because i'm actually really liking it i like like being able to tell you guys things that just didn't work out for whatever reason i think it goes back to that the influencing concept and also like hey these things might not work for you and this is why so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on my new instagram and subscribe here for more and i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one